What's up, buttercups? Hello. I should not actually be vlogging today, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things before tomorrow's vlog. Um, so I just went to Walmart, and I got something. Well, actually, before we even talk about Walmart, this is a P.O. Box application, so it's coming, I promise. I didn't forget about that. Um, but I picked up this cutting board from Walmart, and you might think that's totally random, but whenever I do my face painting stuff, I always need, like, a surface to put the paint on, so I got a cheapo cutting board to do just that. But what I really wanted to show you was, um, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you know that I got new extensions. They're actually in right now. But I have my hair straightener on and I'm going to straighten them. Um, but I really want to try to take good care of them. So I got this Aussie Hair Insurance um, Heat and Shine Spray. So I wanted to give this a try. I was going to let you guys know how I like it. If you've ever tried it, let me know how you liked it. Um, or if you have any other like drugstore recommendations for good heat sprays, let me know. But I just wanted to quickly show you that so I can give you a review later on. But I will see you guys first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm still not supposed to be vlogging today, which probably means I won't vlog a lot tomorrow because I got a lot to say right now. I am so irritated and I will tell you why. You guys know that I do not like ranting on my vlogs. I hate putting you guys in that mindset, but I have to talk to somebody because if I don't, I may just flip the fuck out. Okay, so two... One thing just happened, and one thing keeps happening, and I'm going to address both. Um, I guess I'll address the first, the thing that keeps happening first, because I know a lot of people don't watch, like, long vlogs or whatever, so I want to make sure that most of you hear this part. <clears throat> this has been happening more and more and more, and I know the more that my channel grows, it's going to happen even more. Um, but I'm trying to put a stop to it at least while I can try to control it at the moment. You know, my channel isn't big, um, so I'm able to see all the comments, I'm able to filter all the comments. But this is just driving me fucking nuts, like to the point where I feel like I have to address it and I hope that people see this and it stops at least some of it. I've addressed this before, but I've grown since. I addressed this probably maybe four or five months back, um, but it wasn't really an issue. Um, now it's becoming an issue. What I'm getting at <laughs> is please, 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 please don't comment on my videos asking to check out your channel. I 1000% understand what you're trying to do and sure it might work for some subscribers but it's not, it's not fair to my subscribers or to me to go through the comments and all they see is spam of people like awesome video I subscribed can you subscribe to me check out my video when nine out of time nine out of ten of the times the person has didn't even subscribe to me which I do check if you're one of those people that are like oh like I subscribe to you subscribe back to me a it's not going to make me subscribe to you if anything it's gonna turn me away from from ever what the hell <laughs> from ever checking out your channel and secondly it is so disrespectful to me and to my subscribers to claim that you subscribe to my channel when you really didn't just to try to get views on your own like that is really really low and I'm part of that ball field that is trying to grow my channel but I, I I think I've done it like once or twice when I first started my channel because I genuinely thought that this is what, how you grew your channel is by spamming people. I never spammed. I would always like message them once and then that is it. But recently I have been getting messages. I have been getting comments saying I subbed, please sub back. And what's super frustrating to me is that if they're like, oh, I love this video, like, you know, I made a video like it, or I'm a, you know, whatever. I did check out one person's videos, and I did enjoy them, but I sent them a message as well, like, because they had sent me a message, and I replied to that message, and I said, like, wow, your video, your channel is awesome. 
I said, would you ever be interested in, interested in collabing? And I never got a reply back, which is fine. I, you know, just because I ask you to collab with me doesn't mean you have to, but it's really rude when then you go ahead and send me another message later saying, I love this video. I made one like it. You should check mine out. Like, I don't mean to be a bitch about it. I don't mean to go like crazy about it, but I'm super aggravated and I really don't think there's a way that I can actually stop it, but I'm doing literally everything that I can, including addressing it in a video. I didn't want to do that. That's all I'm going to talk about that. Second aggravating thing. <laughs> this actually just happened to me. So this part, I'm not yelling at anybody. I was, I'm not yelling. I'm just really aggravated. It happened twice today. Twice. I just posted my favorites maybe a couple hours ago and it happened twice already. Anyway, super aggravating thing. So I went to the mall because I have been browsing the mall for props from my upcoming tutorials. Thanksgiving tutorials are coming out and Christmas tutorials are coming out. So I've been looking at like some props like headbands and earrings and just kind of cute ways to spice up my makeup. So I... I was either upstairs or down, no, I was upstairs on the top level and I had to go downstairs. Both Claire's and Icing are downstairs. So they're actually close to each other and these are the two shops that I usually shop for props at. So, I'm waiting for the elevator. There's a person in front of me um, pushing a stroller. Um, so they go into the elevator. Now this elevator is really small. Crap, I'm like pulling into my house so I'll make this quick. This elevator is very small, so I just said, no, 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 go ahead, like, I'll, you know, wait for the next one, pretty much. So the person goes down, whatever. I go ahead and I press the button, and I'm just standing there. It's just me standing there. And this woman, the door opens, and this woman with one of those two strollers literally... Like, I'm standing here. She came from the side and, like, cut me off to go into the elevator. I was like, excuse me. And she looked at me and gave me the dirtiest look. And I'm like, and she's like, go ahead. Oh, my God. Bitch, 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 you did not just tell me to go ahead. I was so mad. Sorry, baby, I didn't mean to yell. I was so, <laughs> I was so mad. That is so fucking rude. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I don't care, you know, I had a stroller, she has a stroller. Just because you have a two stroller thing doesn't make you any better or like you get to, she, I was standing right there guys. There's no way that she wouldn't have been able to see. I am so mad. I, my biggest pet peeve is just like straight up rude people and that's why I quit my restaurant job because I hated customer service because people are nasty I mean nasty I have so many stories of retail but anyways I'm gonna head inside real quick and show you what I got I'm also really aggravated that something just happened I'll explain it when I go in but I want to show you kind of what I got and get my mind off of this bitch <laughs> Okay, that whole time I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. I don't think so, baby. But I'm here to show you some of the things that I got. So we went to, again, the mall um, looking for props, but I stopped in. They have a, um, what the hell is that? They have a Christmas store open, and I've mentioned this before, but not for a long time. Um, but each of my babies, her and then what other baby I have next, that was my ornament. Um... <laughs> They're each, um, every Christmas, we're going to have the big family tree in the living room, um, but then each baby is going to have their own Christmas tree in their room um, that I can put their ornaments that they pick out every year, and then just, like, they can kind of make it their own and, like, customize their own tree. So I picked her up a purple, I mean, I'm sorry, a pink tree quite a while ago from Hobby Lobby. It's actually in that back room right now. I know where it is, but I... Got her ornaments from last year, her first Christmas, but I got her another ornament, which someone broke the string already. <laughs> and now she's eating tape. Fantastic. <laughs> Is that funny? But, yeah, she got a little ballerina ornament. Show off your ornament, baby. I picked that one out because they have, like, some brunette ones, too, but I like that one because it was strawberry blonde like she is. So it reminded me a lot of her. Are you stabbing me with it? So that's her ornament this year. And then for the family tree, I always pick out an ornament as well for like me and TJ or just like 
you know, a, a random ornament that I like. And I'm a big dork when it comes to gaming. And, like, I really love anything medieval time. Like, if I could live in that time, I probably would. Um, but, I, and I don't know if this is specifically from G Game of Thrones, but the section that I got it was, they had a lot of Game of Thrones stuff. But I got this little helmet. Isn't it so cool? It has, like, chain mail on the back. And I loved the detail of it. I really did. I thought it was awesome. So... And even, oh, you're pulling my extension. She's like sitting on my extension. Um, and then the chain itself is an actual like chain. I thought that was really cool. Then <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you the thing that I'm like, ugh, about um, last. But where is, oh, good question. Um, my Claire's bag is empty. Well, I'll have to find what I got from Claire, so I guess we'll do the, the other thing. So, I got this ring holder from Forever 21, and it was $6.90, and I got it because it matched my bedroom perfectly, but the reindeer antler snapped off. Like, the thing is supposed to be, like, in the middle where it holds your rings, and I got it because a lot of the time when I do my makeup, I take off my wedding um, bands because I just don't want them to get all goopy. So I wanted a safe place to put them so I didn't lose them, and so I saw this, and I'm like, well, that matches my bedroom perfectly, but the thing fucking snapped. <laughs> so I'm gonna tr quickly try to find that thing that I found in Claire's. It's a, um, Thanksgiving prop. I really hope it's in my car because the way today's been going, I wouldn't be surprised if I lost it or it fell out or something, but I'm gonna go quickly check my car. <laughs> I didn't think that was... Oh my god, he's got a little fucking... <laughs> I didn't notice that when I bought it. Is that funny? Oh look, I got a turkey dinner. Ah! falling off oh my gosh I saw this and I'm like that is the funniest thing ever my baby you want to put it on hang on let me put it on <laughs> oh it's like too heavy for her head yeah it's like a little turkey dinner on a plate but I didn't even notice that like his little feet has the Santa Claus Santa Claus hello all right hang on let me put it back on <laughs> um, but I thought this would be so funny to wear for like a tutorial because I wanted to do um, a tutorial that incorporated the colors of Thanksgiving. So, oh my god, I thought this was like the funniest thing ever. My husband's going to be like, seriously? <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next morning, the day that I should be vlogging. Sorry, the TV's on, so I'm moving. Um, I don't know what has been up with me, but I've lost my phone almost every single day for the past, like, month. I don't know why I cannot find it. I hopefully will find it by this time of the vlog because I had recorded a couple things yesterday I wanted to put in front of this part that I'm filming now so hopefully I'll be able to find it but it's not like I have another phone that I can call it and find it. I remember using it last on the couch but I tore apart the couch baby off. I tore apart the couch still cannot find it so stop it. But um I've been having a rough day <laughs> today. I woke up with no power and no running water so I went over to my mom's and Ella was acting up and I came back and we went outside and raked. Everything's getting a little bit better. It was just like a really shitty start to the day. Um, but I did. I'm so excited because Ella, I said off before you break it. Hey, off. She has not been listening very well today at all. Like, at all. Ella, no. Ugh, and my nose is running. But I gotta get tissue or something. Um, but I'm really, 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 really excited because I started my Christmas videos. Excuse me while I wipe my nose. Hey! Get down. Oh, this child today, I'm telling you guys. Enough. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I just recorded my first ever music video. I don't even want to call it a music video. I did a cover of Santa Baby. And I recorded a video to go along with it, and I just got finished 
editing it. It's not, <clears throat> like, perfect. Um, you know, if I would redo it, there's probably a couple things that I would do over, but it is my first time ever trying to do, like, something like a music video, so I wasn't expecting me to know exactly what to do and how to do it, but I think it came out really, really cute, and it's gonna come out, um, December 1st. It's already, uh, it's not published, it's uploaded, but it's scheduled for December 1st. Um, that's gonna kind of kick off Vlogmas and, like, the Christmas videos I have coming out, so that's something special to look forward to, but I'm gonna relax for a little bit, guys. I feel so, like, overwhelmed today. I don't know why. What? I feel so overwhelmed, so I'm gonna let you go for a little bit, I'm gonna do some more work. Alright, Alabella is up. And I still can't find my phone, <laughs> which is fantastic. But I actually posted on my regular Facebook. I said, can anyone please call my cell phone? Because I had it on the couch yesterday. And I've torn apart the cushions. I've tore apart everything. I don't even know if it's still not dead <laughs> or not. So I'm like, can anyone call? So I'm waiting for someone to get back to me about that. But I figured I am so hungry. I made her a little peanut butter sandwich, which she's eating right now. The rest of it is right here. So I want to go get something to eat real quick. So I'm going to go do that. Um, but I, I got so many videos recorded and edited recently. I'm so excited. I feel like my channel is just like taking such a good turn. And even though I'm working with breaking or crappy cameras, um, you know, you guys are really, really enjoying them, which I, I appreciate it 1000%. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I inhaled and something flew in there. You like that picture, Bella? Um, the music video I'm proud of. Like I said, it's not exactly the way you know if I would do it again, but I'm still so proud of it for my first time. Um, I filmed an updated everyday makeup routine, which I think came out awesome. I think my makeup routines are really, really improving, um, especially with like voiceover and stuff. I'm really proud of that. Um. I also filmed another makeup routine, um, like a lace mask makeup routine, which will probably come out in a couple of weeks. Oh, I, I filmed a horror piercing story video. Um, what else? I filmed so much, and I just feel like, literally, I'm like getting goosebumps right now, because I feel like my channel is just taking such a good turn, and I truly believe that good things will happen to good people that wait, so... I'm waiting. <laughs> um, also, there's other really exciting news, but I don't, I'm just saying, you know, like, I think great things are are going to happen um, to to us. I consider it us, because you guys are in here with me. It's not just me going through it. It's me sharing my experiences as well, and I think there's a very big window about to be open for me, and I'm not 100% sure yet. That's why I don't want to, like kind of give anything away even though I don't have any details because I don't know if anything will come of this um but I do want to let you guys know, hi I do want to let you guys know that I'm very 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 excited and again I do think great things are happening to us so as soon as I know anything I always let you guys know if I don't talk about something right away it's for a good reason um I always I always update you guys about what's going on in my life but let's go out because mama's hungry so, still can't find my phone anywhere, but I kind of gave up. <laughs> I, like, nobody replied to me on Facebook and, like, to friggin' call me, but whatever. So, we, I decided I was going through, baby, no. <laughs> no, we're watching Carly Bible and now I'm missing it. Um, so anyways, I was going through my... Would you like to tell them? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> um, I was going through my makeup collection yesterday. Stop it with your cuteness, because nobody's going to pay attention to what I'm saying, because you're too freaking cute. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going through my makeup collection. And um I have these like 
plastic acrylic containers. They have like three shelves each. Well, I bought two, but now that my makeup collection is growing, I'm starting to run out of space. And I get mine from Bed Bath and Beyond. I almost said Bath and Body Works, but no. Bed Bath and Beyond, I think they're about $15, $20. So I'm going to go out and pick one of those up. No, you don't. She was about to grab um, my soda. Stop. We're leaving, baby. Come on. Come on. We're going to go get your shoes on. Um, so I'm going to go grab a acrylic container, and I will show you guys what it looks like when we pick it up. All right. So this is as good as the setup is probably going to get. It probably should have put my eyelashes aside or something in my... Well, actually, it's Ella's Disney Princess pen. But I just went to Bed Bath & Beyond. I always forget the name of it. <laughs> and I got my acrylic set. See? Bed Bath & Beyond. Ooh, and there's a oh, coupon. You get Direct TV. I don't know why the hell that's in there, but okay. <laughs> so this is the... It's upside down. Um, acrylic set that I got. It is 14... 99 I believe and I have actually three of them. I thought I had two of them, but one they're actually all full So I need to Organize this so I figured I'd do that on camera with you guys But I wanted to first show you the drawer So if you're interested in getting one of these I honestly think they're a really good price and they're really good quality I've had the other three for a long time and it really does help to organize so if you're looking at a cheap way to organize Organize your makeup. These are definitely great to get. So they're just clear, so they'll match anything. But the one that I got has two smaller drawers on the top, and the drawers two. Hello, the drawers do come out, and then we have two larger drawers on the bottom. I know it's a little bit hard to see because it is so transparent <laughs> um, but I am gonna organize this and then I'll show you the other three that I have it's such a mess right now because like I said I needed some room um, you know products like this obviously won't fit the drawers are kind of shallow um, but any kind of lip products like I want to put my cap on the lipsticks in here any kind of lipsticks or you know blushes will definitely fit in here so I'm just gonna start trying to organize this a little bit So I got it fairly organized, so I'm holding this right now, but my makeup station is super messy. <laughs> I have a bunch of like miscellaneous eyelashes, but this is what this is for. This is going to help clear up the space a little bit. So I'm going to go through and organize everything, but I wanted to show you how I decided to organize this particular one. So in this first top drawer right here, I kind of put the small items that I reach for every day so they're easy and I'm always losing my duo lash glue, so I put in my my Maybelline Instant 8, well actually this is not focused very well, okay there we go, um, my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer because I reach for that every day, of course my Duo Lash Glue, um, Chapstick especially with the colder season coming right around the corner. My face has been extremely dry, including my lips, so I wanted to put that in a space where it's easy to reach for. And this little sample size of the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, which I also reach for on a daily basis. So that's drawer number one. 
In drawer number two, I get a lot of samples from Birchbox, and not everything that I keep, but these, this drawer, I'm going to keep my, like, little tiny samples. So I have this Clarins uh, One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. I don't use this all the time, um, so I kept that in there for now. And then I have this... Let me see if I can focus you guys again. My apologies. Um, Kula Sport is just like an SPF sunscreen. So, um, you know, of course, during the winter and the fall, um, UV rays can still get to you, but I don't reach for that as often as I would during the spring and summertime. Then I have this Pearl Bay Invasion Highlighting. I like this better for, like, the spring time, maybe, so I'm not reaching for it very much during the winter. What is my daughter getting into when she's on the couch or the bed? Hang on. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I had to get her safely off the bed. All right, so that is it for the two small drawers. So now we're going to move into the two big drawers. So in this middle one here, we'll start right here. I have a couple of pigments. I have this one from Too Faced, which I got with the Vegas Nay palette. It's in the color Nude Beam. So I kept that in here, and I know I have a lot more of these NYX pigments, but I did a video where I threw them, and now I can't find them. <laughs> so these are the two that I still can find. One is in the color, oh, and it's usually up at the top. It's just a white color, and then I have this color called Oro, which is kind of a coppery color. Then right here, I have a couple of NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I know that I have more. This one actually right here is a Milani um, Shadow Eyes one, but it's just, it, it's ruined. I honestly should just throw that out. <laughs> um, but I have one in the color Black Bean. My daughter is getting into stuff. And I have one in the color Slate. Excuse me, my daughter is getting into a lot of stuff. <laughs> Alright, then when I pull it out a little bit more, I have two blushes. One is from MAC. Why is all my makeup like something's wrong with it? But this one's from MAC. It was a holiday collection. That's why the packaging is sparkly. But it's called Modest Blush, and it's a mineralized blush. And then I have this one from... Maybelline, which is the master highlight, and as you see, it broke, but I'm still holding on to it for dear life, and it's in the color Nude, and then in the way back, I have this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I only really use this if I'm, like, going out for a night out, if I really, really want my makeup to last. Okay, so that is it focus for this drawer so we'll move on to our final drawer and here I have two Kat Von D lipsticks I have a red and a pink one too but both are actually, ooh, both are actually in my car but one is in the color love which is the purple and then witches which is in black oh baby then, so this drawer I decided to just kind of make miscellaneous um, lip products so I have this Revlon um, lip gloss. I have a couple of NYX lip products. Um, one is a butter gloss and one is a soft matte lip cream. I have this naked lip gloss in the color Sesso and I have this butter lipstick from NYX. So that completes this. I'm sure I will be filling it up more and more as I go through my makeup collection. But let me go ahead and organize all this schnoz and I'll bring you back.